came here to celebrate with us this weekend. I know that Brooke and Matthew are so happy we're all here. Um, speaking of Brooke and Matthew, I cannot put into words how happy I am for you two. Today has finally come. We've been waiting for this for a whole year. We know it's goodbye. Um, a day Brooke and I have been dreaming of since we were little girls. Do you remember the times when we played Barbies rehearsing our wedding day? Doing each other's nails, pulling pranks on each other, and making forks we could barely fit in. <laughs> now we just work our asses off, stress about who's going to wash the dogs and which health insurance we should buy. <laughs> But, I'm just kidding, adult life isn't all that bad. In fact, Brooke and I never stopped dreaming together because today, we're owners, owners of our own marketing company and... <laughs> As little girls, if you would have told us we would grow up and own our own company someday, I would have laughed but secretly hoped it would come true. Brooke, you're my partner in crime, my best friend, number one supporter, and big sister. And I promise, no matter what happens, I'm always going to be on your team. I think all of your friends and I can agree that our lives are so much richer with you in it. and you are talented in so many ways. I have always admired and looked up to you. And now, thanks to you, I have a big brother. Aww. Matthew, thank you for being you. You bring out the best in Brooke. Your silliness reminds her to laugh, and your gentleness balances out her fiery side. <laughs> <laughs> For those that don't know, which I think we all know now, Brooke and Matthew met at Kate and Trey's wedding, that beautiful couple over there. <laughs> Getting together almost didn't happen as Brooke showed little interest after creeping on Matthew's Instagram. <laughs> but with a little alcohol and love in the air, Brooke hit the dance floor and gave Matthew a chance. I remember Matthew telling us the story of Brooke's behavior at the rehearsal dinner, just not having any of it. <laughs> just barely took a glance at Matthew, but it wasn't until wedding day when Brooke saw Matthew's smooth boots on the dance floor that they spent the rest of the night getting to know each other. They took their first picture together that night, and coincidentally behind them was a sign that spelled out love. From then on, they were inseparable. The second hurdle Matthew had was getting my approval. <laughs> Matthew had just left from one of his many visits from FSU after the wedding where they met. He and Brooke had an amazing weekend together, and Brooke was so excited to share the details of the weekend with me. She called me after Matthew had left and told me that they went hungover in last night's clothes to tea on the flats. <laughs> ask her again because I said it wasn't good enough. And I think that was the first time Brooks had ever actually listened to me. <laughs> Matthew responded with, what the hell? Sorry to tell you. Starts, you can understand my initial concerns when I heard Matthew bought a ring and was going to 
to propose. <laughs> but we all know he did amazing. Even I approved when I saw how good those cubic zirconias look these days. <laughs> have the same joys, surprises, and amazement of this past year. As a maid of honor, I only had a few jobs. As Brooke took over as the master planner, making every celebration epic. Are we surprised? <laughs> it truly has been a year of beautiful celebrations, and many of you have been able to be there. For those that this is the first night, buckle up. The McNulty's are not going to disappoint. <laughs>